day four had it all. Fold. You have King Jack. Bad lay down. Is it possible he's lying to me right now about not having King Jack? But you don't know him, he's sick. It's a special kind of lie, but we're all gonna know in like 30 minutes. Characters. Oh, Brooklyn's in the house, guys. Champs. Contenders. On the heels of so much drama, the question everyone is asking, what will day five bring? Back from my blow up at the feature table. <laughs> Give me a chance, please. Welcome back to Las Vegas for the 2022 World Series of Poker main event. I could not be more excited to bring you this one hour free preview of day five coverage of the greatest tournament in the world. Lon McCarron and Jamie Kerstetter are on the call on bookgo.com. My name is Remko Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me to bring you some hyped up action from this event as we are down to 380 players. Everyone guaranteed is $36,000 right now. And the payouts will keep increasing steadily as we approach the final table of this tournament. Corey Aldemir, defending champion, still in the mix. And this guy, of course, knows how to close it out. So he will be one of the top contenders to follow today on the broadcast. But we have plenty more stars still in the mix. And one of those stars was actually a player who was faced by Karai Aldemir at last year's final table. There he is, Alejandro Lococo, finished seventh last year, lost his chips to Karai Aldemir, but today he won't have to face Karai just yet as he is seated at a different table. Lococo, better known as Papo MC by his fans, a famous rapper and MC from Argentina. It'll be funny to see if he can perhaps once more square off against Corey Aldemir. And here's a look at the top 10 chip counts led by Taylor von Kriegenberg, an OG on the circuit. Dan Colboys, same can be said for him, 4.8 million. And as you look down the list, there are quite a few big name pros still in the hunt, perhaps not as well known to the general public, but some players to really keep an eye on as we are rapidly approaching double digit remaining players. And that's of course when things get really serious when we are within the final 100. And we'll be in that moment at some point today. So whatever you do, clear your schedule because for the next few days, it is all about the World Series of Poker main event. If you're tuning in on YouTube, please let us know where you're watching from. Hopefully we have an international crowd here once again present for what will be the Aaron Zhang show. And Donnie, we jump straight into the first hand and he's mixing it up with King 10 suited, which of course is way ahead of his normal range. <laughs> Definitely way ahead of his normal range. Aaron Zhang, if you guys are just tuning in now and you missed the past couple days of coverage, he really made a name for himself yesterday, amassing the largest stack in the room at one point, and just playing, I think, 90% VPIP every single hand. <laughs> Creative lines, being aggressive, putting people to the test. Played a really big one against Dan Smith, got Dan Smith to fold the same hand. Definitely a really fun character. Playing his first main event, Remco, you spoke with him. Um, if people want to know a little bit more about him, they can check out our vlog. <laughs> Mostly your vlog now <laughs> on the Poker Go YouTube channel or check out the Poker Go podcast. We took the audio from your interview and we put it in the podcast as well if they want to know more about Aaron Zhang. Aaron Zhang <laughs> is everyone's new favorite player. You think T3 the short stack is it's easy. Then today you saw, wow, so many chips. Yeah, 2.4 million, not 240. I'm 3 million. Yeah, two, it was 2.97, not 297 or whatever. Oh, 25 and 25. Oh, I'm big. Is it 10 or 15 small? Yeah, 10. If you missed out on last night's coverage, it is highly recommended that at some point today, you watch the final two hours of the stream. Probably on dinner break. Probably, yeah, exactly, on dinner break. Check that out. Uh, Aaron Zhang got moved to the feature table with Dan Smith. Easy game on day five. Ali Easy game with that hand. <laughs> and it turned into complete madness no? almost instantly. Dan Smith battling. Aaron Zhang winning. Well, what do you ask? No headphones. Yeah, super. Mr. Kuhn here, regular on the tour, have seen him for many, many years, as Gail Bauman, the 10th place finisher of the 2012 World Series Boca main event, the 10 year anniversary of her unfortunate final table bubble. I spoke to Gail Bauman yesterday. She said she only has one goal in mind, 
and that is to do better than in 2012. Good price on the flop. <laughs> it would be great to see if she's able to achieve that. Absolutely. And I th she carries so much experience into this event. Now that she's on day five with a stack, you know, it's not the biggest stack, but she has a stack on day five. I can only imagine that she'll have a large advantage over some of the newbies in this event. However, being a newbie, Donnie, doesn't seem to bother Aaron Zhang. It does not seem to bother Aaron Zhang. He's certainly playing his style, not scared of the big stage, has not backed down from what we saw on the outer tables to bringing it to the feature table, as we saw last night. And it looks like it's continuing once again today. Zhang has found himself on many flop turns and rivers with questionable hands, and <laughs> right now he is battling with Nunley as both players are sitting on 10 high. I'm curious to know how, no, the, how the other players at the yeah. table, if they're aware of Aaron Zhang's style of play, if they <laughs> prepared for it, you know, if they watched any of the coverage late last night after they were done playing to see what was going on. Maybe they were watching it while they were playing. I, I did walk through the field and did see a lot of people you know, with Poker Go on their phone. We see Lonnie Hui right there, two-time WSOP Gold Bracelet winner. Donnie, Lonnie with a stack, in my opinion, is one of the scariest things to face at the poker table. Oh yeah, for sure. She's extremely talented. She can certainly be aggressive at times. The cowboy hat's out. I mean, Dan Smith did not bring out the cowboy hat last night, but I think that by bringing it out today, He's going he's gonna to have a little bit of an edge over his opponents. Though. Oh, yeah. He had a bit of a wild ride yesterday. At one point, he was all in for 825K against Ali Sirovich and Aaron Zhang. Tripled up. We see John Jawanda right here looking like he's finding his seat. Yeah, Dan Smith tripled up. Then they get moved up to the feature table. He loses a couple big hands um, against Aaron Zhang. He doubles up an opponent when he runs queens into aces, and he's left with basically 380 or 400K to come into today. So... Not the, not the finish to day four that he wanted, but still alive, still ticking, still has chips. Here we go. It's a main event, I had to, right? You were here yesterday? You didn't play ahead. You know what I just talked. Aaron Zhang is having the time of his life. Gil Bauman would have hoped for a bit more action on Queens there. Excuse me too much. Just tuning in, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm already seeing some chatter about extending our free preview. Well, guess what? Gail Bowman once again facing elimination. And now the Hungarian in position to bust Bowman one spot shy of the final table. Here's the flop. Trey Queen Queen Bowman still behind. Everyone here on their feet awaiting this outcome. The turn card, eight of spades. Gail Bowman with just one final chance to hang on. The river card is a king. Bowman out of the main event in 10th place. Utter joy for nine men, one woman, and a world of hurt. There's a look back at Gail Bowman in 2012. That was her first time playing the main event. Now she's an experienced regular as we look at the final table seating chart. Ramon Calias also at this table. Donnie Calias, speaking of people knowing to navigate <laughs> a big field, he's got all the experience. Won the first ever PSPC. Also came 14th place in this event last year. Certainly knows a thing or two about running deep. An extremely prestigious large field, big buy-in tournaments. What was that for five million or something? Yeah, five million. Five million. 25K into five million. Qualified for the event, went on to win it. And then another big score last year, 14th place in this event. Zhang here with Ace King. I'm not sure anyone's going to believe him at this point. Wow. <laughs> on the button, too, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, he's he has such an incredible image that now when he picks up a hand like this, it could be trouble for somebody else. But it doesn't look like anyone's going anyone's gonna to find anything. What wow. Aaron Zhang the most talkative player at yesterday's feature table stream and definitely also the most aggressive player. So hopefully we'll get some fireworks here in the first hour as we see the tournament summary presented by Zenny Eyewear, Eyewear for everyone. The second biggest ever main, main event that you are watching right now, 8,663 players, 10 million for first. And as we've seen, defending champ Corey Aldemir at it again 
trying to make a deep run, of course, reminiscent of guys like Greg Raymer, who made a run the year after they won their main event. I believe Joe Hashem uh, did a similar thing. Yeah, most notable to me are Greg Raymer finished 25th the year after uh, he won, and then Peter Eastgate won, and then I think he finished 78th the following year. So wow. super deep runs by those guys. Um, Karai isn't there yet, you know, as deep as How those guys went, but for you? still an incredibly Seven? impressive showing so far. Uh, no? How many day five? D yeah, how, how many times have you made day five? Three times. Wow. Yeah. Impressive for Gail Bauman. Third, is, third time making day five. Impressive. That's unbelievable. <laughs> as I was saying earlier, for people who are asking for an extra hour, I won't even bring it up to our producer unless we hit 5,000 likes. Wow, like I 5,000 likes, won't even, okay. I won't even bring it up. I mean, the, the bar is super high, but but listen, I'm making I will side with Remco in that our boss tends to look at us like we're crazy when we push for this stuff. But if we have a case, if we can present the evidence, <laughs> in this case, if we can present them that we have 5,000 likes, maybe even if we get 4,000, but let's push for 5,000, <laughs> really tip the scales in our favor, smash that like button, get us up there, tell your friends, sign into different accounts, all that sort of stuff. Let's go. By the way, if you're in the chat and you have any questions, please send them in. We're going to try to get to as many as possible. Joe B. asking about Ryan DiPaolo. He's been eliminated. Um, I see Hiran Maru asking about who is the Zang guy. Uh, well, he lived in L.A. for a while, played tournaments and cash games there. Then during the pandemic, he moved to Las Vegas to focus more on live tournament and ev tournaments. And ever since, he's been playing local events here in Las Vegas. And judging by his style, he feels extremely comfortable with deep stacks. So I can only imagine he has a little bit of a cash game background. But... Zhang definitely the player to watch here as you know he'll get involved with hands like 9-6 offsuit. I believe Mata Simbolas is still in the mix as Barfield makes the call for 45k, getting us to the turn. He of course has a lovely gut shot to the nuts. Mr. Jane asking how many players are left. 380 players starting the tournament today. We are playing until roughly midnight Pacific time. So 3 a.m. on the East Coast, 9 a.m. Central European time. So my guess <laughs> is that we are going to get well below 100 players. As tomorrow, Donnie, the real money is at risk. That is right. Once you dip below that 100 player mark, it's as Ash. real as real can get. Oh, what was that? <laughs> what is happening at the feature table? Donnie, how do you feel about Zhang uh, continuing to bet here with his middle pair? Obviously, um, I can only imagine that word has traveled about his playing style. Do you think he's already trying to leverage the fact that players won't give him credit? Yes, I mean, I think <laughs> pairs for Zhang are like sets for other people, <laughs> right? Just because he plays kind of so wild and crazy that when he does actually make a hand, and here, second pair, heads up, is a decent hand. And for him, who has a very loose image like this, is a good hand. Zhang here getting raised. How do you feel about this move from Barfield? I think it's hard. It's hard to play back at Zhang, as you see here. For he's this reason, the call. yeah. It's. I mean, I, I know Aliyam Sirovich did it last night. You know, and I mean, we all know how good Aliyam Sirovich is, right? I, I just don't know how. I would want to tangle with Zhang. I, I would be more inclined to just kind of check call. Make make a pair, hold on for dear life, and just, just hopefully he kind of gives his chips away, which he has been prone to, to at least try and do. So Zhang here, obviously, considering multiple options here, Don, it might seem like a check behind, but given the range that Barfield might check raise with, he might be considering putting in a bet, even though his body language gives up this sort of check behind vibe. Yeah, so I think he is debating just that. Should I check behind with my showdown value with my pair of nines? Or do I think Barfield has a pair of jacks and I can now represent something like 5-6 and try and blow him off his hand? You know, we can see the cards. We can see that Zhang is ahead, right? But he could be losing to better nines. There's a lot of them out there. He could be losing to a hand like jack nine. He could be losing to a hand like queen jack, jack ten. All those hands, if he puts in a nice big bet here, he could possibly get Barfield to fold. One of the most exciting things about Zhang is that he he bet Dan Smith off a chop, and then he tried to do the same thing again. And the, he checks behind. I, missed. I think so. <laughs> king high. Queen high is good? King high. Uh, king high, king queen, right? Yeah. 
pull you on Queen, Queen, Queen King or Queen Ten there. I mean, Donnie, we could not ask for a better start because Zhang picks up more chips. And for him, that's just ammunition to keep firing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let, let us know in the chat if you're already a fan of Zhang. I mean, I said it to you yesterday, Donnie. If poker was a team sport, I'd buy his jersey with the name on it. Like, I'm a big fan. I want to see this dude make day seven First time I play and go nuts. Put me on test. I want to see him make the final table. Just that would be the ultimate stage. Absolutely. Yeah, Looks like really we're really swinging out here. Okay. Damien Salas is table we got a also taylor von kriegenberg here in the two seat the chip leader coming into the today we got an uh oh, three-way all in itai levy all in with ace queen elliot stern with jacks and taylor von kriegenberg ace king he has everyone covered he wow. is our current chip leader massive massive hand here 10 3 3 5 on the board jacks of course comfortable right now river card 10 on the river jacks hold up do we, see we lose Levy. Do see Levy eliminated, collecting 36k. So that means Von Kriegenberg is going to get a little bit of a side pot. We don't know how much exactly, but won't lose the full amount. And Von then a triple up for Stern. Von Kriegenberg, Donnie, very experienced pro. Has been around for a long time. As we look at the secondary table, of course, headlined by our reigning, defending uh, champion yes. Corey Aldemir. Somebody texted me and saw that I was in. Martin oh, Finger here also. Because you post in the table oh, draw on yeah. Instagram, yeah. <laughs> Tran and Knee battling, both top pair, top kicker. Looks like we steamed up to 1,300 likes, but now it's, it's slowed down a little bit. Remember, guys, 5,000 likes. Remco's going to dip out of here and talk to our boss I mean, to try and get you guys a free hour. Right? I'll extra. I'll literally make a phone call. Uh, old school. Uh, speaking of old school, Don, Tran has been He's been around for a long Jimmy time. Jimmy Tran, yes. He's been around for a long, long time. <coughs> By the way, if you're new to our YouTube coverage, we do free previews of the action on Poker Go. And we do lots of giveaways. So if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we are giving away multiple free subscriptions to Poker Go on this broadcast so you got to stay tuned for that but I'll, I'll already tell you we got some aces up our sleeve if you want to just subscribe for the annual subscription which brings the cost down to only five dollars and eighty cents per month use promo code gets WSOP 30 to save thirty dollars on your annual sub so get WSOP 30 there's a pinned comment in our chat that offer is valid Sorry. until the end of the World Series of Poker so Get in now while it's hot. By the way, as Tran is in the tank here, which to me seems as though we might see an all-in clash. Martin Finger, I just want to point me? out. I'm up. Oh, wow. You'll we'll see it on TV anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I got he wants in. to know now. <laughs> Impressive raise here from Knee. Does have the Ace of Hearts blocker. Hate to muck you, but. Wow, Tran really not feeling this. I mean, I mean, he's he's not feeling calling, but he's also not feeling folding. You know, he, he's certainly stuck in the middle. Knee here rocking the PG T-shirt. <laughs> Gotta love it. Big laid out for you. Hmm? <laughs> Shows just a ten. I got top top. Folded from the wrist. Yeah. The first hand. Wow. Wow. That's funny. Ooh, that hurts. hurts. Wow. Bend the knee, Donnie. That's right. <laughs> PGT, Poker Go Tour. Oh, I did it sorry. the hearts. That's right. Free roll. He had position. <laughs> By the way, just want to emphasize, yeah, Martin Finger at this table, one of the most aggressive oh, German yeah. pros, has a long history with Karai Aldemir, has been around for a long time, former EPT winner. Wait, I believe he also has a bracelet. Yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I was, yes, I, I believe so. I think you won EPT Berlin, was it? Uh, Prague. Prague, sorry, sorry. <coughs> Here's a look at something familiar. Corey Aldemir, end of day chip counts. Looking at how these numbers compare, he is due for a massive day today, Donnie. He is due for a massive day today. A little bit behind, though, <laughs> comparing the, the end of day fours, but still plenty of chips. I mean, I, you, like, you look at the full leaderboard, right, and Karai's kind of down in the bottom half somewhere, right? But he has so many chips. 
so many that it's just like, I mean, these guys are all pretty deep overall. Obviously, there are some short stacks, of course, but a lot of people are very, very deep. Big blind right now is 25K. Adam Preston says, we got a finger and a knee. Where's the rest of the body? That's funny. That's right. Sick. Right? On what? The first hand. Oh, yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, by the way, Donnie, while we I mean, I lost them get some outer table coverage, can you uh, look at some of the other big name you, uh, pros that are still in the tournament? Because we got quite a few still in the hunt. Yeah, of course. We already mentioned Taylor von Kriegenberg. We already mentioned Karai Aldemir. If I fold it and you I'm sure I am. We've seen Alejandro Lococo, seventh place finisher from last year, also known as Papo MC, an Argentinian rapper. Aaron Mermelstein, a two time WPT champion. Is in the field, has a big stack as we see right there. The players remaining has ticked down to 377, guaranteed $36,000 right now. Big pot brewing right here. Kuhn opened it up with pocket nines. Nunley made the call with King 10 of clubs. Ramon Calias, three bets to 180K with two aces out of the cutoff seat. Kuhn makes the call. Nunley gets out of the way. We're going to a flop between Kalias and Kuhn. Kuhn will be first to act. And he finds his nine. Middle set on the queen nine seven board. Kalias with an over pair also has the ace of diamonds. Could come into play with a backdoor flush. Don't forget, guys, 5K likes, and Remco's going to be stepping out to uh, talk to our boss, try and get you guys an extra hour. But we need those 5K likes to be able to do it. So let's go. Smash that like button. Let's go. Kuhn, check the action over to Kalias. Kalias with a bet here, 185,000. Looks to me like he sized it where he could entice Kuhn to check jam, and then Kalias would call off. But of course, we know Kuhn is in the lead. LOL Brown 1970, 377 players left, just showed it, showed it on the screen right before this hand. Could be 376, depending on what happens here. Kuhn makes the call. We're going to the turn. Deuce of spades. About as blank of a blank can be. I mean, with these stack sizes in the main events, it is extremely hard to make a huge laydown. Of course, when stacks are deeper, like, you know, let's say a Zhang versus a Barfield. There might be more arguments to be made, but right now, in Kalia's mind, this is a phenomenal spot for him. Oh, yes. This game is good. First time. I think it likes you. Wow, Kalia's yeah. checks behind. <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh my God, wow. No Hello. No way. Oh, baby. No. There it is. Ace of clubs on the river. Also for Kuhn, given that check back from Kalias, Kuhn is probably thinking, you know, he might check back a lot of ace highs, ace king, ace jack, that sort of stuff. This is a perfect card for me to now get a lot of value on. We know that that, that card, that ace of clubs, could not have hit Ramon Kalias any harder. I mean, F, F in the chat. F in the chat for set over set. This is Wow, insane. he checks the river, Kuhn does. This is unbelievable. Just, I mean, come on. Ramon Kalias here has a nice stack to shove 510 into 840. Should he choose to go for maximum value? These bu these guys are both playing it so coy, Donnie. I know, it's just, this, this hand is wild. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. Yes, it is. So many Fs in the chat already. <laughs> I mean, I feel so bad for Kuhn. And I was feeling bad for Kalias on the turn. 
All in. Quick call. Oh. Wow. Wow. Very sick. Sick, I mean, sick on both fronts. Sick on the flop that Kuhn was able to take the lead. You know, almost cracking the aces of Kalias. And then, of course, that ace on the river. Even more sick <laughs> in Kuhn's. I mean, Kalias is acting as if this is the most normal thing in the world. Yeah, like he's just poker face, bro. He's sitting there like a statue. Poker face, man. Are you kidding me? Thank you, make good lay down there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. Absolutely wild. Kalias is going to double up to more than 1.8 million. Kuhn is left with less than 200,000 in chips. Stay in there. Eight big blinds. A little bit less than eight big blinds in his stack. And he will be in the big blind the next hand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable stuff here to get day five of the main event underway. And here's a look at some more players that are in the hunt that had some big runs in the past. Kalias, 2021, finishing in 14th place when 292 players entered on day five. Damian Salas also still in the tournament. The 2020 pandemic year champion. Mm -hmm. Brian Rass is also out there. Five-time gold bracelet winner, Brian Rass. Ari Angle, two-time gold bracelet weird. winner, also yes, in the field. Man, Noah Schwartz, sexy. bracelet winner and WPT champion. Wow. Aaron Mermelstein, two-time WPT champion. A lot of names left in the field, man. A lot of names. Up to 2,300 likes, which means I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really excited as Bauman picks up Ace King. In five minutes, I'll give away a free month of Poker Go, meaning that one lucky winner can continue watching the entire main event on Poker Go. By the way, if you just want to subscribe, we have monthly, quarterly, and annual subs available on PokerGo.com. Pick whatever suits your fit. I mean, the main event. You can't miss it. Treat it as a pay-per-view if that's what you want to do. 15 How bucks. Many events you play? <laughs> First one? I don't play tournament. Lon McCarron and Jamie Kirst that are on the Both call right it? now yeah. on BokoGo.com. While Good the job, night shift man. is back on tonight First after dinner break, Ali Najad yeah, and Nick really? Shulman. Yeah, too? yeah, first time. Oh, my yeah. God. I think I've seen you play at, like, uh, at Rivers or Cash. Chili Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So you had I'm Parks, Parks, Brigada. Yeah. Go to Rivers when I want to get out of there or something. You know? Yep. No action for Bauman under Queens, Donnie, but she might get a taker here on her ace king. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. I'm Adam. Well, nice to meet you, Will. Um, awesome. yeah, I play tournaments. I play cash just a little bit. So you're really missing the tournaments at Parks right now, huh? Oh, Alan so gives it up. Discipline lay down. It is a discipline lay down. They just haven't played before. Same situation. Kuhn still reeling from losing set over set. Only a few big blinds left in the big blind, and decides to see a flop. perfect. I mean, after this one, how can we go back to play? The wow, game? what there a flop for Kuhn. He's can. short, but he that's can. exactly what he was looking for. I don't think I'll ever play. I'll just right, start wait for this one again. 20K, 30K. How can I go back to that one? Let's go. So I think I should run very deep this one. So yeah. Flying from the future. <laughs> it's crazy, right? That's a good idea. <laughs> so happy. Kuhn giving it some thought here, deciding between checking to get all the money in or perhaps leading with a shove. So you, are you a four-time player? Less than pot size behind. Yeah, full-time. So first giveaway in five minutes. You have to make sure you are a YouTube subscriber. So you have five minutes left to subscribe to our back YouTube to channel to enter the giveaway. And there's an all-in on a call. Bauman, of course, not much she can do. She still has outs, four outs, of course, I feel a little bit to make that Broadway immediately, but also some back doors. Let's see if Kuhn can find a double up here moments after Losing with set over set, which of course still has to hurt. Chad is saying, Lady is coming. Q on the way. I love it. I love when you guys are engaged. I love it when you guys are predicting the cards. So, how many years have you been playing tournaments? Turn card. Queen. Bingo! Oh my god. There she is, the lovely Queen of Diamonds for Gal Bauman. But Bauman, with that little head tilt, she knows she's not out of it just yet. Kuhn can't hit a full house. Hey, Chad, how did you know? Look, Ace on the river. That'll yeah. seal the deal. Chan Racy Kuhn eliminated. What a painful day 
for him. Chen Racy will connect, collect $36,000 for his efforts. But my god, will he be disappointed. Two incredible spots for him to win some chips. I think I feel it, the queen. And now he's on the rail. The self saturation, back two, back two hands. Little smile there from Bauman, who got it in behind. What's your feeling right now? It's not deep enough, huh? You don't know her? <laughs> We're here because of her. Her feeling is <laughs> freak. It's not deep. It's her third day five. Third time she made day five. We're here because of her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we are on day five so? of the World Series Poker main event. They're, they're telling me we're here because of me. <laughs> we might be too. Both of you guys. I'm just kidding. I, I think no, we're here because of the combination. Fine I'm fine every day, I think. <laughs> Zhang here. Gets in there with a raise, jack eight of spades. Here we go. Goldstein. It's 300. Ace 10. I mean, 300K all in. Based on what we've seen from Zhang la yet last night, this is not a clear fold for him. <laughs> no. He is, and also this is this is one of the spots where you know it's a clear shove for someone like Goldstein, cut off versus button. Three hundred. Or no, it's not cut off versus nope. button. You don't like aces, right? You have aces. Of course, man. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Jack eight suited makes the call. I have ace ten. He's got jack eight. This is this is the he has jack wow. Eight roll in. This is the Aaron Zhang experience you himself. showed He's up for. Feel really bad if he busts me. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to tell your friends, Sorry, Jack Ace. Run it out. Let's see it. I like Jack Ace. Yeah, suited. <laughs> Here comes the flop. Ace right uh, away there for ace. Goldstein. Please ten off spades. Ten of spades would definitely spade. give us. You like five? Red five. Spade nine of spades. Ooh, there's a uh -oh. spade. Oh my oh, god. Ten. You like ten? Oh. Two pairs is good. He's got his spades and the. Uh, you see that cooler situation yeah, over yeah, there? But you you could draw. probably not you have a better holding, Goldstein. <laughs> Blocking them both ways. On the flop, not as much on the turn. After I see a turn, I know I win already. I lose any 10 or any spade. You like any 10 and a spade? <laughs> King nice on the river. Doubled up. Goldstein will double up. And it's just about a scratch for Zhang, who will continue. They gave me lavender chips! Woo! <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a TV turn. Oh, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's a TV turn. That's right, no it TV is. River. Yeah. No, no TV river. Uh oh, Goldstein on the move. Yeah, oh, he's got oh, high fives. TV turn on TV Let's river. go. There you go. Love to see it. Yeah. Oh, By the way, Donnie, Aaron Zank clearly sending the message to everyone at his table don't mess with me. I will call your shove. Oh, of course. As we are down to 368 players, everyone in the Bally's event center. You can feel the tension in the room. The we are is back building. in the Bally's event center out here in the field. Let's check in real quick with Shelby Wells. Shelby, stand up for me, please. I'll come right here. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. All right, so you walk in to day five of the main with a top 10 chip stack. What in the world does that feel like? I'm really excited. This is my first time in Vegas ever, playing any event wow. here ever. Um, I tried to keep it on the DL for the first few days, but now I figure anybody who cares to know probably knows. So they can adjust however they feel they need to. I can adjust in return. So it's just really exciting. I'm really happy to be here. What brought you out here? Um, Nadia Magnus did a Twitter giveaway. You had to answer riddles. And I was the first one to reply in a few rounds. So me and another woman named Kristen got free seats. If I win, I'm going to do the same for sure. That's awesome. Any kind of intimidation in your first Las Vegas World Series of Poker event? Um, I don't see any. Obviously, I'm a little nervous, yeah. but like I'm free rolling. So no pressure. Great I meeting you. Good. Thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it. Good Thank luck you. today. Thank you. Let's wow. go, Shelby. Let's go, Shelby. Let's hear it for Shelby in the chat. Come on. we got to root for yeah, Shelby. Know, that's that's right. Going. Brood right there. Holy moly, 3.8 mil. Let's make it to the final table of Shelby. That's right. Here's uh, Zhang again with the raise, this time ace-five suited. Far better hand than the jack <laughs> eights of spades. But this one he lays down, Donnie. He picks and chooses. Yeah, I mean, that one probably likely to be dominated more. Also, the shove was bigger than before. Could also have, you and know. If you win the last one, you call. See? Uh, I win the last one. Dan, I need a towel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Smash like, 5,000 likes. Remco's calling the boss to try and get you guys in an extra hour.
I mean, I can't 25 minutes to get us to 5,000 before he makes that call. Let's go. Here's a look at the chips in play brought to you by StormX. The reds are 5K, the greens are 25K, and the lavender chips are worth 100,000. Are you leave here, too? No, that's First time in Vegas for Shelby. First main event on a free roll. Could not ask for a better story. Of course, that is what the main event like is all about. I'm still as feel, feel bad for that guy. <laughs> D'Amico here I mean, raising it up with happen, 10 of hearts. It like, happened on day one, day two. It yeah. don't happen on day five. Pretty sick. It is pretty sick. All right, time for a giveaway. First giveaway. Can I give my chips back, please? <laughs> As Zhang is not now. Let me build first, and then I give you back. Much from from them, not from me. Jack three three on the flop. Zhang with top pair. I wonder if players are going to be eager to try and bluff this guy, knowing how light he calls down. I would not. <laughs> I, I would. It just. It doesn't seem worth it. You know. All right. So, first question for the giveaway. Very simple. Who do you want to see win the main event? Who are you hoping? to see the win, the ma main event. We've got plenty of people to root for, Gil Bauman. we got Shelby in the mix. We have plenty of pros that Donnie mentioned a little while ago. So let us know in the chat, who do you want to see win the main event this year? And I'll give away a free monthly subscription to PokerGo so you can continue to watch the remainder of this phenomenal tournament once our free preview ends. 10 on the turn improves D'Amico to two pair. His two pair is, of course, trailing the two pair of Zhang. Zhang also has the queen of clubs with three clubs on board. It's certainly a spot where I see D'Amico check behind and then call some sort of bet on the river, just given how Zhang has been playing. Maybe not now with the eight of clubs. Zhang does check his flush. D'Amico quickly checks behind. This one or this one? You pick one. <laughs> Both, is good. Bo both of them win. Zhang knows it. You're good. Take a jack or queen. <laughs> Zhang back up over 3 million, 27 years old, resides in Las Vegas. You guys see his real name there, Zilong Zhang. Goes by Aaron. I swear you win more. I did. My math is bad. I saw we even, you win one hand, I win one hand. That's even. <laughs> That's even. 3,000 likes, let's go. Get us up to 5K. We got 12,000 people watching. We got 3,000 likes on the video. That math does not add up to me. <laughs> Facts. I went to college and I got a math degree for stuff like this. I can see that there's a difference of 9,000. So what are people out there doing? I do want to see that. I'm going to give away some, some subs here. Shelby picked up a ton of fans here right off the bat. Right off the bat. Love to see it here as Nunley finds the pretty looking queen nine of clubs. Or if stays random or if they choose somebody that, you know, they want to have. Yeah, I don't know. I got pulled randomly and that's it. Yeah. By the way, giveaway is only for our YouTube subs, so while you're at it, please sub to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be in the know. We've been doing some bonus videos on our YouTube channel. We did extended coverage of the money bubble on YouTube. So if you've never seen that before, highly recommend watching that. Um, we have, of course, our daily highlights package. We have a daily overnight you know vlog that we publish with some interviews, including you know Zhang, Bauman, John Juwanda was in the video. As Nunley and Zhang are tangling here, Nunley flopping top hair. Nunley staring intently at his opponent. Rocking the birds aren't real shirt. We after all know birds aren't real. After after this hand, I'll do <laughs> the first draw for the giveaway. Here we Ooh. go. Second queen here, Donnie. This might get costly for Zhang as yep. he's probably less likely to give Nunley credit for a queen. Birds aren't real. Well, they aren't. There are robots in the sky with cameras in them watching us all, you know. 
Isn't that how the world works now? Donnie, I've given up on <laughs> on assuming that I know how the world works a long time ago. I just like to stay in my own little bubble. Hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> exactly. Nunley continues for 135k. I don't see Zan getting away from this at all. Nope. And there's no way for him to win this hand. Doing the dealer's <laughs> job there. <laughs> Helping him out. There you go. I mean, if you're Nunley and you just make a full house, you've got to go really big here, right, to, to really put Zhang to the test? I don't know, because Zhang has been... He's shown some discipline for as kind of, like, wild and crazy as he's been playing. He has made some good folds, and I think even evidenced by the times when he's won hands, but he's known what his opponents are holding or has a really good sense of what they're holding. I, I don't know if I would... I would put him to the test where it makes him make a difficult decision. I might go super small here, like 150, 200k. Just try and lock up as much value oh as you can. Oh my god, it's coming. See? It's coming. It's coming. It's already. <coughs> Maybe even sizing smaller you know induces it's so sad. Looks a like, check raise. Looks like pot size. Is that 400 something? I believe it's 450. So sick. It's like 450. Uh, so it's um, 4, 4, 4, 12, <laughs> 16, 18. That's a very nice bit, man. It's a very nice bit. Oh, he makes the call. Wow, calls it off right away. As I said, that turn card got him into trouble. And Zhang takes a bit of a hit, down about a million chips in the last orbit or so, as Nunley rakes this in, chipping up to 2.2 million, Zhang down to 2.5. All right, time for the draw. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Cuz, Cuz is all in. Eight. I think he needs an eight. <laughs> no luck for the Cuz. See you later, Cuz. Steve Buckner. <laughs> Recent uh, second place finisher in a World Poker Tour event. I believe it was WPT Choctaw. Steve Buckner goes by Cuz. Everyone knows him as Cuz. He calls everyone Cuz. He's usually got a coffee. He's usu usually got a cigar. Certainly loud and boisterous. <laughs> Is that someone imitating the Cuz? Michael Ruane. Michael Ruane, main event legend. Back-to-back -back deep runs, fourth and tenth in 2016 and 2017. Crazy. He's doing it again, Donnie. He is doing it again. He, he, I mean, he must have taken a couple years off and just been like, you know what? <laughs> Bank count's getting kind of low. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go final table again, top 15, whatever. No big deal. I mean, very impressive stuff. 2020 Whoa. main events. That's what you're watching right now. Day five. Here's look, look at, at the chip counts. Chip Dan Colboys up to 6.6 .6 million. Mermelstein 4.5. Kolev. We've, saw him, we've seen him before at a feature table, 3.5 million. Then Ari Angle, Alex Keating, Michael Monsek, Noah Swartz, and Talal Shakurtzi here among the notables. All right, grabbing Cuz after a trip to the payout desk. What happened today? Oh, I just was short stacked. I took a bad beat yesterday, uh, level three. Uh, he had a three outer on me, and it took me short to 200. For four hours, for four hours I grinded to 200, closed out at 400. I looked at one ace, it was short, and I put it in. He's got ace, wake up with ace king, and out we go. That's it. I played the best I could play. That's it. Describe the roller coaster ride of emotions that you went through throughout the course of this tournament. <laughs> well, I'm an emotional guy anyway, yeah. obviously, and that's my personality. The roller coaster was short. We got up, then we took a bad beat, and we go. That's, that's poker. But uh, it, it was an interesting ride. I just wish I would still be here. That's it. I mean, uh, you, you want to you still be here day five, uh, day six, I mean. I'm guessing we'll see you next year here. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for the time, Cuz. You got Appreciate it. it. All right, Jeff Platt catching up with the Cuz, and now it's time for the giveaway. I already drew a name. I was just waiting for a chance to say something. The winner of the free month of PokerGo is Lito Sariego. L-H-I-T-O, Lito Sariego. All you have to do is send an email to social at PokerGo.com with a screenshot of you logged in to your, to your YouTube account. And I'll send you a promo code right? for heard that, right? the yeah. free month of PokerGo. So Lito Sariego gets the free month, and we'll do some more 
okay. in just a few minutes here. There as comes we a time when you're short enough that any two cards start looking pretty. <laughs> Could be the parking slot hand. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in. <coughs> Just got word that if we keep this pace up, we'll probably be able to extend it perhaps for another hour. Come on guys, hit that like button. Let's go. I don't understand. Can you hit like like on mobile? I, I don't know, maybe you can. I mean, like what are people doing? By the way. We're just, of course, you know, having some fun, joking around. It's the main event. We're all having a good time. As Tran is involved, 10 dudes versus 10-4. Umeda. Bet 30k on this flop and takes it down. Second time out. Who's having fun? Who's having fun in the chat? Let us know if you're having fun. I'm having a blast. I'm literally hyped up on caffeine. The main event, day five. Yeah, We're going to be playing down to that. below 100 players. We're going to get How that much closer to seeing who will win that $10 million top prize. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I can realize it's still done. Only once? Holy shit. Where'd you end up? Uh, I won that. <laughs> Where'd you end I thought he was trolling you. Nah. <laughs> you had this happen on day three already, right? <laughs> Where this woman was asking you what was your deepest run? Uh, yeah, it happened. Was she trolling kind of, or? Kind of. I was just going to ask anybody if she was our first catch in the main me. event. Oh. Yeah. I wanted last year. Oh, that's <laughs> it. You only have 9,000 followers? <laughs> only 9,000. <000. laughs> 4,400 likes. Let's go. 600 more. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> you ought to, like, where is she? Stack them to the top. I want Stack those yeah. likes. No, no, no. Your, your Instagram tag. <laughs> One of the few remaining Dutch players in the tournament, Marijn van Rooij, raises it up with 10s to 50k. By the way, my name is Remco Rinkema. You can follow me on Twitter, Donnie underscore Peters alongside of me. The underscore is not in his legal name, but it is on Twitter. Keep an eye on that as Bala finds Kings here in the big blind. Wow, Clash incoming. Hello. Better strap in for this one. Hello. You think oh, we can pick up 5,000 Twitter followers? followers? No. <laughs> people don't care anymore. I don't think people are even on Twitter. <laughs> people don't care anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I played like a $10 now. saddle. Now, yeah. <laughs> on and call. Online? Here Online. we like go. Free, like of course, hard to get away from 10s there oh, in the main event, but still, Hold. some outs. One time. As Bala's all in. Hold. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Let me just say that the vibes are so laid back at all these tables. Six, seven, right. three right. on right. the flop. Eight or nine. <laughs> Four. King. Four. King. Four. No, no, I don't want to chop. Oh. Ace on the turn. King's still <laughs> way ahead, of course. Two outs for Van Roy as Bala is looking to double up. Seven Ooh. on the river. Not going to do it. Like a ten. Big double up for the Kings. Scary. Nice hand. 400, right? Follow up to 855k now with that double up. Oh, congratulations. That's like huge, right? Yeah, What'd you do with all the money? It's all gone. All gone. Yeah. It's all gone. <laughs> you wasted it on strippers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Houses, some cry, cry went straight to the strip club. <laughs> Started a business. Yeah, nothing crazy so far. No? You want to buy some racehorses? <laughs> That's a great game. That would be fun. Oh, man. Are you, you're, you're into that? Yeah. Huh? Resources? Yeah. Oh, man, you win. Oh, here we go. Little's into Sorry? They can be expensive. So horse horse racing. racing. Oh, man. And very risky no, because, like, they're so fragile. Yeah. But it's a great what game. What is, like, the price of, like, a really good race horse? Like, <laughs> millions? Oh, you, yeah. They go from 10,000 to 3, 4 million. 3, 4 million. <clears throat> but if you get the best one. And he wins a bunch of money, he's worth like 50 million. Yeah. I mean, it's the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Talking about racehorses <laughs> as we watch some of these <laughs> animals play for 
a ten million dollar top prize. I'd be willing to bet some of these guys are horses, <laughs> in a different sense of the word. Exactly. Thanks. Four hundred more likes, and we're at five k. Come on, come on, come on. I do want to say, Tranus Queens. I'll get back to my like two times, and they're done. Yeah. Some never make it to the races, yeah. and then there's some that'll run a hundred races yeah. and, yeah. and run for eight years, yeah. and run for eight years. So I mean, but river, river, like the game. Yeah, river. race, that's not too oh. much of all. No, yeah. Trans all in for the button here. Yeah. It's been so long since I looked at that. They're yeah. very fast. Two quick folds, and it picks up the blinds yeah, and annies, showing us queens. Ladies, I just want to say I'm going to give away a free annual subscription to Poker Go in ten minutes. That's what I'm playing for. One lucky winner will get a free year of Poker Go. Money Gotta keep this horses. circus yeah. train rolling here. Best one as today. for some reason, they've given Donnie and myself uh, the keys to the castle here on YouTube. Making the most of it. So subscribe right now to YouTube because that's the only way for you to enter our giveaway. So in 10 minutes, a free year of Poker Go. Even if you lose. Just looking at them, such a good. Let's get that hype going. Yeah, I suppose. Martin Finger here lays it down, as I said earlier. One of the more feared players on the European circuit. I love how Bilodeau is wearing what looks to be uh, some sort of hockey captain jersey. Middle, Reminds me of maybe yeah, Ottawa Senators. Correct me in the chat. Yeah, I go, I go with my low jack of MP, Tina. And I teach him that the big lines, uh, 400k. And this stuff is echt heel weinig. Snap al, yeah, I can. Uh. In the background, Van Roy explaining in Dutch to Frank Obdeward <laughs> how he just lost a chunk of his chips as Bala raises the button with ace three, and Karai Aldemir is going to tangle here with King Jack as Little wakes up with aces in the big blind off a 370k stack. This is interesting. It's very interesting. Bang, there it is. Little is all in with aces. Of course, Bala has what looks to be a fairly easy fold, but how is Aldemir going to interpret this move? That is the big question. <coughs> King Jack offsuit, of course. Not really a premium holding, but hey. There's some money in the middle to fight for. There it is, ace three off in the muck. Now Aldemir has to run the numbers, has to do the math. Free year of poker go on the line in just ten minutes. Actually less, it's like eight minutes. Aldemir has to call 400k to win about a million, Donnie. <sighs> oh yeah. What do you think? Does that math add, does that math well, add up? I mean, it's not. A million it is includes his money. <coughs> I mean, if hey. he thinks his cards are live, and Little has something like Ace Queen, Ace Ten, then then you probably call here or. If he has a pair under jacks, you probably call. Problem is that king jack is just a tricky spot because he does this with king queen, you're crushed, ace king, you're crushed, ace jack, you're crushed. Obviously, jacks and kings, but. Hey, Chad, do you like king jack? <laughs> I'm, I'm not much of a king jack player myself, to be honest. More of an aces guy. <laughs> Karai does not like this at all. Whatever he does, it's the right move. Because he's Karai Aldemir. It's fun to look at those. What? Did you just say that? <laughs> he hands over his aces. <laughs> Karai goes, wow. <laughs> As we have action here at oh, the feature table, aces and ace king with Kalias. What is, the, what is happening in stuck, his hands? Stuck in the middle here. Nunley raises it up to 55k. Kalias makes it 135. Then Amico makes it 435. Wow. From the small blind. Pay jump, right? Yeah, the Pay missing jump. one. Kalias gets out of the way. Kalias is like, sorry, guys. I was just messing around. Sorry. Don't take this You're personal. Not in good shape. So no. D'Amico 
raised all but 15k of his chips on the on that four bet. I mean, these are going into the middle, of course. As we have aces versus ace king, D'Amico. Are we gonna see a tank to the pay jump? I mean, is that we what we're gonna see here? We might. Yeah. I mean, the the pay jumps are serious now. That you, I mean, you can't really fault players. <laughs> <laughs> D'Amico checks and Nunley just flicks forward a green chip enough to put his opponent all in. I will get some second guys, just in case. Just in case for the pay jump. Respect for D'Amico for Well he I mean he should have taken longer before he checked. Yes. <laughs> if he's if he's gonna tank, just tank. So for just those unfamiliar. Yeah, it's missing one. I didn't want to update it for a bit. Sure. I think I they're right on a pay jump so of four K. Forty nine hundred. They're talking <coughs> they're talking that the the clock that they can you see says Kali three fifty one. Three fifty is a pay jump. Wow. So every nine players just so people uh, Yeah, but I think they updated every yeah, single one now that they're this deep. Or like four thousand. So I mean this is a, a forty nine hundred dollar pay jump. I mean I wouldn't set five thousand dollars on fire if you forced me, so D'Amico. D'Amico right here, Donnie, to take time. $5,000 is a lot of money. Why not give it a little bit of a pause? We'll keep talking. We'll keep people entertained. Oh, we hit 5,000 likes. Hold Boom. on. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's warranted on two fronts here. So it's, I think it's warranted for D'Amico to want to hit this pay jump and try and do whatever he can to get there. On the other side, if one of the players at the table want to call the clock, certainly well within their right to do so because everyone knows what is happening here? Can't really fault D'Amico here. Trying to do his best. Remco stepped out. He's going to go make a phone call. But but just because we hit 5K likes doesn't mean you guys should stop liking the video. Okay? All right. D'Amico here puts his money in. His last 15K. Aces for Nunley. D'Amico's got Ace King. Gonna need a lot of help here. Four and seven, please. Point three percent to survive this hand. I like my queen seven diamonds. King king better. Yeah. <laughs> king king is too much. Just straight. <laughs> That's living like you, man. D'Amico just wants a straight, just to chop the pot and stay alive. He's not getting greedy, trying to win it. Oh, oh, oh! That's good. Four clubs on the turn. Deuce of seven. Open-ended to chop. <laughs> it's not yet my time. Come a on. Deuce or a seven. Deuce or seven. Sorry. Queen it is. We say goodbye Bye, to D'Amico. We'll see if he earned that pay jump. <laughs> All right, I'm back. What did I miss? You missed... D'Amico taking some time trying to hit a pay jump. Almost ran out of straight to chop the pot, but ultimately was eliminated here. Spiritual Mo Mushroom. So when we do the giveaways, you have to be a subscriber to the channel, which it looks like you are because you're in the chat. And then you have to respond to whatever question Remco throws out in the chat, and then he'll select one of the answers at random to win. So stay tuned for any giveaways that we do when Remco is throwing out the questions for those. Wow, aces for wow. Karai versus king-queen suited for Wow, look at, this, look at this board. Wow, not not flush draw. Pair of queens, Umeda bets 80k. And Karai is just slow playing it. Old-fashioned slow play. Love to see it. He does, he does. His aces are still in the lead here. Wait. You gotta take care of Hector, right? Even though 4 5 is possible, no, Donnie, like the safe to assume that aces are the nuts here yeah. for Aldemir. Aldemir in position as well. A free year of Poke Go. The sub giveaway is coming after this hand. One lucky winner will get a free year of Poke Go. Because why not? Who made that might be looking to get the showdown here, but he's also counting out chips here. I mean, it's unfair. The reigning yeah. champion is making top set. Who made it has less than a pot size bet behind. 
Oh, wow, Donnie. He bets almost all his chips. All but it looks like 45K of it, which would mean 275K is the bet. Karai Aldemir looking back at his cards. I mean, this is a massive spot for him. He'll be salivating. Okay, yeah, 275,000. Karai moves all in. Oh, my God. If you're Omeda... I wonder, I wonder if Umeda's aware of the pay jump as well, doing doing a maneuver like this, taking a little bit of time before betting his chips. Now he has chips behind, so he's allowed to take some more time while he thinks. Wow. Pay jumps, of course, becoming more and more of a factor in the main event as play goes on. But Aldemir here, Donnie, on the brink of jumping back into the table chip lead. Which is kind of interesting, you know. We've, we see a lot of three, four, five million chip stacks around the room, and at this table, 1.1 million is enough to have the chip lead. And Umeda, indeed, looking back at the clock, fully aware of the pay jump. But given Aldemir's raise here, Donnie, despite the fact that we are looking at the pay jump, your 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 pair of queens is also shrinking in your hands. No, of course. I mean, it's interesting that he does he does. If he thinks Aldemir has some sort of flush draw, I mean, he has the best flush draw, so likely has the best hand. The problem is, is that I don't think Karai is shoving here, although it is only for a little bit more. If Karai had, wow, he folds. If Karai had, you know, like yeah. ace-10, no, 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 for no, example, no, no, then no, no, Karai no, probably no. just calls. Joking. Aces. Oh, it's oh, always good looking aces, it huh? be? <laughs> Karai shows the aces, yeah, returning the favor. Is, you think he's going to bluff for 40k into like 800? <laughs> aces for the champ, up to 1.6 million. There's been very little pressure on Karai Aldemir as the reigning champ in the main event. I mean, he has been here before. And he told me that it's actually been really nice for him because in the early levels, he was able to stay around average instead of getting short like he did last year. So he's been super relaxed all the way through. Up until yesterday, he told me that was when the suspense really started to set in for him. He was also able to sleep really well through the early days, and then last night, it did not go so well for him. He said that could obviously just be a coincidence, but it could also be a reaction to being here, day five, the main event, again, and everything that could mean. Phenomenal <laughs> stuff from Cry Aldenmere. Along with Damien Salas, the two, the two most recent champions still in the mix, and now for the free year of Poker Go on the giveaway. <coughs> oh, did I mention that we're going to keep going for another hour? Did I mention that already? No, I think we should make him get to 6,000 likes, but you can do whatever you want over there. Hey, guys, let's keep this train rolling. Let's see some hype in the chat. We're going to go for another hour. I spoke to the bosses, 5,000 likes. That was the mark. Thank we you. hit it. I'm proud of you guys. Nice. One more hour of free Thank coverage here before Hold kicking it over man. to Lon and Jamie on the call on PokerGo.com. In return for this like Queen extra hour, all you have to do is just subscribe. Show us some love. Herky's Wings, the, the pay jump there uh, was for 40, 4,900 at 4,900. Knee here raising it with nines. Umeda all in, calling all in with ace jack offsuit. We're going to see an all in showdown here. Boom, another hour. Let's go. And I still got that annual sub to give away as Martin Finger finds five. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to point out, just in regards to Damian Salas, he also made the WC main event final table before 2017. Came in seventh place for $1.4 million. So, arguably, <laughs> the, arguably the, the bigger accomplishment, Donnie, given how big that field was. Yeah, yeah. Very similar payouts. When he won, he won $1.5 million. When he made the final table, $1.4 million. Martin Finger here, interesting spot with two fives. Finger happy to see a flop here. Makes the call. Oh, now Van Roy is getting a price. Only has to call. Basically one big blind to potentially win a whole lot more. What did you have? What did you have? Oh. All right, four-way action as Umeda looks to quadruple up. Yep. And quadruple up. <laughs> That's right, and Martin. Yeah. You're getting 5x because the ante. Good luck. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the flop. 
Lots of side action potentially as there's a five. The ace jack <laughs> looked to be well ahead, but Martin Finger flops a set. Oh, wow, Knee comes out here with a bet. 75k. Finger probably happy to let, let, let Knee keep firing. Yeah, I mean, rather interesting spot because you're at the point of the tournament where you probably want to bust people to, to move up the ladder. Um, so firing here with, with two nines is, is interesting. And you also have to figure that, I mean, oh, wow. Yeah, just, oh my just, god. Just the nine of clubs on the turn. I mean, <coughs> can it get any better than this, people? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, hello. We had aces versus nines, and here we have it. Ace jack versus fives and nines connecting with this board in the craziest possible way. Also, the case nine, because oh my god. Van Rouge had a nine. He had ten nine in the big blind. Wow. Imagine if Umeda had more chips, too. And this we this was three-way with, like, actually, you know, I Umeda mean, wasn't all in. He had top two here. I mean, this is wild. And Mark. you said it earlier, Martin Finger, an aggressive player. Like, this is this is going to be wild here. Martin Finger here assessing the situation, looking over at knee. I mean, I wonder if, if, you know, Martin is like, there's alarm bells going off in his head because knee is betting into a pot where there is a player all in. He was the pre-flop raiser. Could he have aces or jacks? I mean, certainly well within the, the range of possibilities. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, so it him. looks like Martin Finger is going to proceed the cautiously. <laughs> Where did you finish last year? 150. 374. Yeah. yeah. Also, already. Finger just makes the huh? call. Deuce on the river. Oh, Nines. Yeah, already, yeah, already huh? The winner here, Umeda, has been eliminated. Be but there's going to be some action you. here. And Martin Finger might be yeah. faced with one of the I hardest really decisions <laughs> of the tournament if he yeah. gives yeah, Knee credit for a very strong hand. We are the, the table silver. 617. Yeah, we Finger. Yeah, but we came here because of him. Considering leading here, they perhaps. Like pick, like, this is going to get expensive. No, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they pick celebrities. As soon as we bust him, they're breaking Wow, him. wow. No, knee <laughs> wastes little time <laughs> in going all in. He he think so finger knows it. He yeah, knows he stepped in it. Oh, my God. This is the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Finger only has to call a little bit more here. He is disgusted. We already, saw, we already saw Umid earlier bet fold and leave himself with 45k behind. I mean, it is a little bit more. Oh, he's going to make the call. Here we go. Ace nines. Ace nines. Sorry. What happened? Oh. Uh, what happened? He said call. Yeah, there's no action. Show. No show. There's no action. Stop. There's no action left. He sh he sh yeah, he shows. All cards have to be shown. There's an all in. Set over set. Ouch. Oh, wow. 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 Ace Jack. What a <laughs> monster here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Take a no, photo no. of that. That is disgusting. At Sushi nice. Umida there, probably nice. thinking that he's good. <laughs> when, when that flop rolls out, you know, you shove short stack, wow, Ace turn. Jack, what you flop top two. Yeah. You're feeling yeah. good yeah. about yeah. it, but. With nines. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't see where I was at. Sick. Even though Umeda <laughs> is the one who busted, Martin Finger <laughs> is probably <laughs> feeling more yeah. disgusted you at this point. Exactly. Yes. Look. Okay. Wow. Fuller. King, queen, spit, spit. Oh, wow. All right, telling you, it's the PGT jacket. <laughs> That's what it is. That was right. He's turning it into a buff. Thank you. The look, the look of a man who is utterly disgusted. Oh, my God. It's the main cool. event, ladies and gentlemen. The main event. You have to dodge bullets. It's a minefield out here. As we swing back over to, of course, none other than Aaron Zhang in the mix with a set versus top pair, top kicker. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my. Are, are we watching a highlight reel or is this a live stream? Like, this is unbelievable. The hands that we're watching right now as Nunley has stepped in at big time. And Aaron Zhang, the most aggressive player perhaps remaining in the tournament, makes a set. I mean, I'm out of breath. Stacks are massive. Zhang bets 435k. And they both have over two and a half million, over a hundred big lines each for both of these players. What is going on here? Not only put it together to call here, sliding it forward. 
We're going to the river card. Nunley drawing stone dead. And of course, there are a few cards out there that could make this even more costly. You know, a queen or an ace would make his hand that much stronger. And a seven is not going to slow Zhang down. I mean, he could just rip it here. He's doing the same little, little bit of an acting pose. I love Zhang's Hollywooding. He has this look of like, I'm going to check back, Donnie. After the river, I'm so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest to you, I have no idea what you have. <laughs> this hand, I have no idea what you have. I mean, he's going to so bet a million, right? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is incredible stuff. King A, that means a lot of sense to him. King of heart means a lot of sense to him. <laughs> I, I, I can't read this hand. This hand is kind of tough. He hasn't bet yet, ladies and gentlemen. He oh, hasn't acted yet. Do you mind I, I'm talking? Or uh, you, I don't I, mind. Okay. I checked. If you mind, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just quiet. <laughs> I, need, I need some time, guys. Sorry. Take your time. I've never seen this before in this type of spot. Like, this is the first for me. He's going to go all in, right, Donnie? I can't decide if he's going to go all in or if he's going to check. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting hand. It's going to be a beautiful hand, I think. It's a beautiful hand, Remco. So it depends on what I'm going to do on the river. Don't worry, chat. I haven't forgotten about the annual sub giveaway yet, but there's, there's been too much action. So, the turn was 4, 3, 5. Turn was 4, 3, 5. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What is Nunley, what's going through Nunley's mind right now? King A, King of Heart. I mean, this, this has to look extremely strong when he just decides to fire, right? So you can have King Queen there. Is Clock called on him? It's feature table, just give me some time. Exactly 10 minutes of the hand. Okay. This hand's taking 10 minutes? You don't, you don't need to call Clock, I'll, I'll decide like in 20, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I finished my decide. It's a, um, it's, uh, it's a quick bet. So it looks like good. It's a quick bet. Like a million, right, Donnie? Yeah. He, he had eight seventy out, and then he pulled out some more. I love how he like fans his chips out like in different. Plus 300, yes. Wow. That's what I did. Right here. He's putting it all together. Wow. The most elaborate bet of all time. Look, look what what is going on right now? This I is... That's what I did. Look at the chips stacked up. I mean... <laughs> I, don't even count for that. I don't even know how much of that. <laughs> You didn't count that out? Oh, no, it's just, I guess, uh, that king of hearts being exposed is like. Yeah, right. That's so what I'm talking crazy. about. The oh. car is. Um, the king of hearts was exposed. You, you don't mean to do that. I know you fall safely. He just saw it luckily, I think. Well, I saw the eight of diamonds. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's line. not on you. It's not, totally not on you. Yeah. He just saw the kick, eight of diamonds. But the dealer showed two cards. That's yeah, very. Well, that's eight very, of diamonds. It's this totally fine. Doesn't matter. It's totally fine. 1.4. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the circus. Yeah. Now you know what I what have. What a now hand. I'm right now, I don't know. I, I <laughs> still don't know what you have, but I, I just be honest. It's not angle play. I'm not angle talking. I'm just this hand. I don't know what you have. Like, exactly, I don't know what you have. Yeah. 1.47 million. You, back to you, you know what I mean? It's on your term. You decide to yeah, I know. do whatever you want. Can I have like two minutes? Is that cool? <laughs> Sorry, I, it's a big part. Different. Different. Uh, I, different. I know, I know. 
It's okay to call clock. It's okay. It's one. It's what was it? One point four six five. <laughs> Nunley is just extremely confused right now. Every time after I make a decision, oh. I'm, I feel so You know, relaxed. birds aren't real, like, man. No, <laughs> the thing gonna happen next, I can't control. I just do my do my part of job. This is the craziest hand I've seen all year. I don't mean to take that long time. I'm just decided to. What should I do on the river? It's it's either. He's still talking. Two ways. It's a pretty big bet, right? It is a pretty big bet. That's why I take that long. I think you you know I think I I wasn't just talking and like uh, thinking nothing, wasting time. I was thinking, you know the size. I mean, I think Nunley can find a fold here. King of hearts. But Nunley has the ace of hearts. Oh, you do? Yeah. The fact that I'm not glad we ever know hearts. The king of hearts is no. dead because they. It sounds like it was exposed. Is like. Just a giant mind f. <laughs> I mean, really. I love pocket fives. What? You love pocket fives, you said. Pocket fives is a different situation. If you want to know, I'll talk it to you after the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Free coaching after the hand. Oh my god, stay tuned for the whole course. Buy the whole Aaron Zang course. Nice. Lays it down. Gives it up. You're in the man. <laughs> oh, I gotta see it, I guess. I think you got ice queen. No, I do have ice queen. Yeah, I put you on ice queen. You can't cope with ice queen. That's easy. I do think Zhang cost himself some chips here, Donnie. If he just goes for a, a quick million on the river without the talking, I, it's what? really hard for me to see Nunley fold That's there. Really yeah, and it, if he... I mean, I know he talked throughout the hand that, that he didn't know what Nunley had, but there at the end of the hand he said, I know you have ace queen. I put you on ace queen. So I don't know if that was a little speech play that was going on, but... If he did really believe that he had ace queen, as you said, I wouldn't go through that elaborate bet, the acting, all that sort of stuff, because ultimately it didn't get him a call. And you want a call there if you think your opponent has ace queen and you have a set of tens. You want the call. <laughs> yeah. here's, here's Brian Rass sitting on 1.8 million, still one of the multi bracelet winners in the mix. Daniela Rodriguez Tabares on a short stack, but still battling out there. We had her on the feature table not too long ago. Always good to see some notables go deep. And there he is, sick call Kenny Tran. That's right, baby. 1.2 million. call Kenny Tran. One of the best readers in the universe. And when this man has chips, it is hard to pry them away from his hands. And there's Mr. Miami himself, Noah Swartz. 1.2 million. <laughs> A WPT champion and the gold bracelet winner is Noah Schwartz. Well, if you've heard Chris Moneymaker tell the tale of his 2003 win, he said he was hesitant on playing, and then his best friend said, you know what, I'll take 50%. Here is that best friend, Bruce Peary. Bruce, stand up for me, please. Good to see you. What brings you out to the main 19 years later? Well, I hadn't even planned on playing, but uh, Chris called me, uh, I guess a day before the main, and said, uh, hey, what are you doing? And I said, man, I'm just hanging out with the kids. He said, uh, I'm going to drive to Nashville in two days and pick you up. He said, uh, I'm going to put you in the main. And I told him he would be wasting his money because I never play <laughs> tournaments. I hadn't played one in, in years. But he said uh, he just wanted me to come out here and, hey, he made the money and I'm still in. So here we are. And here we are. We're on day five of the main. Hey, real quick, wh what happened to that 50% of that $2.5 million that Moneymaker won? So that was back in 2003 and things were different. And uh, we had been to a casino before we came. And uh, I precisely blew his half that I had bought. So he had to sell some pieces so we could come out here. That's we remarkable. In the parking lot. Uh, finally, in Tunica, 2003. What moneymaker uh, tell you about talking to me? He told me absolutely don't talk to Jeff unless <laughs> I'm present or, or lawyers are present <laughs> under any circumstance. I'm glad we can upset him now. Thank you for the time, Bruce. Hey, Appreciate thank you. it. Y'all have a good day. Oh my God, what a story, Donnie. What, what is this tournament? This, like, every year in the main event, I'm like, who are these people? What's happening? And then every year, these incredible stories emerge. This is the greatest. This is the this is the greatest thing of the year. Like, this I mean, is, that that is incredible. Shout out to Bruce Perry there for the honesty about blowing the 1.25 million. <laughs> wow! But he has a chance to win a lot more than that this time around. Can you imagine if he? Ends up making the final table. 
don't steal my blinds when I'm talking, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now finally, we can do the annual sub giveaway for all you hardcores that stuck around yeah, for all that. Twenty badness. minutes later, <laughs> twenty minutes later, it's been unreal action. This fucking fish like raise every hand, you know, flop like crazy. Up here, talking her. You won't be a bad one. By the way, you guys have slowed down on the likes. Genius. If you're just tuning in, please I like the video and subscribe to the channel. This upcoming annual sub giveaway that I'm posed the question to right now is only for YouTube subscribers. So subscribe right now so you can enter the giveaway for a free year of Poker Go. The question is... I think when you fold the hand, I gotta think of a good question. I can't think of it. Do you have anything, Donnie? I got nothing. King over there, there's no kings. So the only hand you lose to is um, pocket tens, pocket fives. All right, I got a question. How do you feel about Aaron Zhang? Love him, hate him, brilliant, say, genius. Just because one king's gone doesn't mean that there's no more kings, so. Let me know right now in the chat. How do you feel about Aaron Zhang? Are you are you a fan? Not impossible. Love him, hate him? How well you that information? I want to know. Yeah. For an annual subscription, this is annual Pokego sub on the line as Ramon Calias raises it up with pocket eights, barfield finds. For me, I just Ace King off. No like 100% no chance. I know it's not impossible, but I just that way. Make me. I can make my move. Oh, we got lots of, mean. lots of takes here. Love him, love him, love him, love him. Genius, big brain. You have King Queen there. Maybe I check back. Still talking about that hand. Chop, chop, huh? No chop. <laughs> he wins. <clears throat> Barfield continues here after three betting before the flop. Kalias with eights. Donnie, you think it's safe to say that Aaron Zhang has some fans? I don't know how you can not be a fan of this guy. He's just incredible yes, entertainment. Yeah, I'm my image too. Oh, Zhang Gang, someone said. That's four plus high spare with that. We haven't brought us a player yet in a while. Yeah. I mean, if I play that hand with the alley, I think he will think longer like you. Let's say he just called me with 8-10. He's high. Kalias makes the, the call with 8s. Ace pops right? off on the turn. Barfield right? takes the lead. What? Was he right? No, he's wrong. I, I got a run around the two pair. He was wrong. Run around the two pair. King, do like three. <laughs> I got nine jack. King, do three. Turn, turn jack, river nine. Three clubs, though. He called me with ace 10, ace of spade, 10 of club. Oh, we got some new subs in the chat. Thank you, Alan. Uh, t thank you, Elena Schuster, for chiming in to the chat. This is a wild day so far. It is wild, really and it's only going to get wilder. <laughs> I mean, enjoy the, the moment. <laughs> All right, he's gone. <laughs> We're on the river uh, here after the flop, or sorry, the turn goes check, check. Kalias with eights trying to figure out what Barfield has. Barfield, the pre-flop aggressor with the three bet. Ooh, Kalias leads small here. Well, I think he's a, yeah. I think he's a better player and you need to think longer at that moment. It's a big pop, you need to take another two minutes after you. Barfield faced with a very small bet, probably considering his options here, maybe in an attempt to get some more value out of his ace king. We need, we need a good nickname for Aaron Zhang. I, I saw Hurricane Zhang earlier. I think the hurricane. Ooh, I like it. Hurricane describes him well. Oh, yeah. The hurricane. Barfield doesn't take any chances here, makes the call, and Rakes in moved. this pot. You got it. <coughs> you can't right. see it now, it's too early. A few minutes left here to submit your responses to enter the draw for the annuals up. And no king of hearts, whole hand's different. Zang gang. Hand, but. Uh, the, the zinger? 
little bit different, but I think you just need to think longer on the river. I spoke with Gail earlier today before we started play, and although she obviously would have rather started with more chips, she was very comfortable playing the stack that she came in with. She said this experience is so different for her than 10 years ago when she narrowly missed out on the final table, in part because she's just a very different poker player. That was actually the first year she'd ever played live, so she's a lot more experienced now. Now, as for this table, in her words, it's definitely not a soft table, but the configuration is actually not that bad for her, so we'll have to see how it goes. It's okay. I think you just need to Thank you, Kara, for the update there. Gail Bauman still hanging in there at the final t at this feature table. Of course, she's sitting next to the two most active players with <laughs> Nunley and Zhang, biding her time before a big hand shows up as Nunley here raises it up from the button or raises it up from the cutoff, and Zhang finds King Ten. It's great to have the sideline reporting from Jeff. And Kara, absolutely. I mean, it's it's like, I feel like that's what the WSP is, the WSP main event, sorry, has has been missing or was missing until it really did get put into place, and, and those two are really just two of the best to do it, and it's it's perfect. It really is. <coughs> Definitely brings a very sports-like feel to poker coverage. This table is too big. All right, fi final chance to uh -oh. subscribe to our YouTube <laughs> channel and enter the giveaway as both players here flop top pair. It's like that king of heart. Time, for, time, <laughs> time for more fireworks. Nunley checks. I still think Zhang is missing out on about a million chips that he could have made off of Nunley on that previous hand. Meanwhile, Nunley give, is giving me some, some Aussie vibes, Donnie. Aussie vibes? Yeah. Is he Aussie? I don't know, but he's, he's giving me Aussie vibes. Queen on the turn. Both players with a straight job. Both players don't want to make two pair. I mean, further complicating this hand. Indeed. Check, check on the turn. Four of diamonds on the river brings in a backdoor flush draw. Much quieter hand here between the two as Nunley is now reaching for a few chips here to get some value out of his top pair. Snap call, sees the bad news. <laughs> when you're that aggressive, Donnie, if someone else has top pair also, you just kind of laugh. I lost some minimum over there. <laughs> he did. 140? He did lose the minimum. By the way, this is a one-hour free preview of our PokerGo.com oh, coverage. Keep that in mind points. because we are already 90 you minutes in here, to our free hour. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you. 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 PokerGo.com after the conclusion of this second free hour. And while you're at it, check out PokerGo Hold'em, the free-to-play online poker game available on your favorite devices. Apple Play Store or Apple Store, <laughs> Google Play Store, <laughs> and on PokerGoHold'em.com. It has been a scorcher already as it's 110 degrees in Las Vegas, but it's probably just as hot here inside the Bally's Event Center as we are on our way for that $10 million top prize, and there are still a few days left before we crown our next champion. And the reigning and defending champion, Corey Aldemir, is still in the mix. So if you're just tuning in, I want to let you know that this is the right time to subscribe to PokerGo. We have monthly, quarterly, and annual plans available. Main event coverage is going to be from start to finish each day until we crown a winner in this tournament with the final table, taking two full days to play. So you have, I mean, maybe 40, 50 hours of play left here, Donnie, as we are on day five of the main event. Of course, reaching the final table at the end of day seven, then there will be a day off before 
that two-day final table as Nunley and Zhang are once again clashing. King-9 suited against Ace-King. And the one thing I'll say, Donnie, I, we haven't seen Zhang three-bet a lot. No. I mean, it's like a heads-up tournament between these two. <laughs> Don't forget that smash that like button, people. Show some love. We got you an extra hour of free coverage here. So show us a little bit of love. I have the winner of our giveaway for a free year of Poker Go. The winner is Vinny Berado. What up, Vinny? Congrats. Vinny Berado. He says Zhang is the GOAT. That's right. Huh? Vinny Berado, free year of Poker Go coming your way. Send an email to social at pokergo.com. With a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account, and we'll send you a promo code for the free year of Poker Go. Vinny Barato, congrats. Wow, discipline fold there from Nunley. It is. Must be tempting to play back at him. Yeah, or, or even just call and, you know, try and hit something and win a big pot. Yeah. <laughs> so certainly yeah. tempting, but also, it is certainly going to be tricky uh, playing out of position to Zhang. 333 that players that are remaining in the 2022 the WSB main event. Everyone left guaranteed $40,900. Oh, Congrats, Vinny. Winner of the free delay. annual sub to Poker Go. As Remco said, email social yes. at pokergo.com. See yes, a message. He'll see get you hooked up. See a message from Joaquin Valdivia. I don't Come see a message from you, Joaquin. Also, I'm keep telling you, you need to think at least two more minutes. It's a four oh. million part. You didn't, there it is. You didn't really realize that how, how important that part was. I think I that's a matter what I think. That's what you think. Right. Yeah. You definitely didn't realize that's a four million part. <laughs> you think I can't count? No, I think you need to sing it longer. You are watching the 2022 WSB main event. Second largest WSB main event ever, 8,663 entries. 160 bits. More than $80 million in the prize pool. $10 million up top to the winner. Joaquin, please check your email. I just I just sent you an email. There you go. My name is Donnie Peters. That name you just heard is Remka Rinkima. Got about a half hour left, a little bit under of our free preview. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Just about 17,000 people watching right now. Show us some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button as well. It goes a long way. The more we grow, the more free poker content we can hopefully bring you guys. What's up, Ryan A? Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for joining on in. Alien Poker, yes, there is a delay on this field. No spoilers, please. You spoil, we gonna boot ya. Vinny, don't forget to email social at pokergo.com. Congrats on winning that free annual sub. Connor Karai Aldemir is on the secondary feature table. We check in every now and then with that table. I see Hanks in the chat. What's up, Brent Hanks? How you doing? Welcome to the show. The circus, as we like to call it. What do you think about that river? Barfield here talking to Welch. Welch just continuing with this bluff, trying to sell this story. The story is sold. Barfield gives it up. Welch takes it down with seven high. 
After this free preview is over, you guys can head on over to PokerGo.com. Pick up an annual subscription for less than $6 a month. Use the promo code GETWSOP30. Wait, who let, who let Brent Hanks into the chat? I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to blame Jimmy Bluffett. He's I'm, the moderator. I'm calling security. I'm calling security. Brent Hanks in the chat. Good to have you here with us, buddy, as we go back into the room here. Dan Smith. The Cowboy. The Cowboy is all He's in. all in. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Looks like Ace Jack versus Ace King. No, I think it's two kings. Two kings? Wow, even better. Looks like a very clean run out so far. There you go. Let's have a look, see if that are two kings, two black kings. Boom. Double up for Dan Smith. That is not the player you want to double up if you have him at your table. But of course, for entertainment value, we hope that Dan Smith is going to continue this big run in the main event. He's been close before, Donnie. He lost a massive, massive flip on day seven versus Jord Van Hoof back in, was it 2015? Can't recall exactly what the year was, but Dan Smith back then was one big coin flip away from having a chance to make the final table. And he's back right now with a double up, of course, Dan Smith, double up drive. Could not be more fitting as the cowboy hat is still in the mix. Not a big stack yet, but hey, it also, it's got to start somewhere. Jason with a $2 donation saying, Zhang versus Helmuth, heads up challenge, let's go. I mean, I'm pretty sure Brent Hanks is going to have Aaron Zhang's phone number to get him into some shows. As we look at our chip leader, Dan Colpoise, Donnie. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, um, it, must be, it must be a nice life to live when you're an experienced pro finding yourself on day five of the main event with seven million chips. Yes, must be great. Dan Colpoy's been around for a long, long time. I believe he won a Stairway to Millions event that we had in our studio. My fellow countryman, Marijn van Roy, with Ace King Offsuit raising it up here as Billado with the, I mean, it looks to me like an Ottawa Senators jersey. The French Canadian name. That's just what, what I'm going to go with. Calls from I don't Small Bunch. That's bunch. Ottawa Senators. I just the name Billado, probably from the Ottawa area, right on the border there with Quebec as LaPierre calls from the big blind. So we got three-way action here. Nine, seven, four, two hearts. By the way, Don probably already mentioned it, but we got about 25 minutes left on our free preview. We extended it for you guys to two hours today. But please know that the coverage will continue on Pokego.com. Lon McCarron and Jamie Kerstetter are on the call. And please know that the final table is streaming live on PokeGo like, exclusively, like globally, here? no yeah. blackouts, no it's restrictions. So not comfortable at all. It will it's be on TV on CBS yeah, later this year, right? but it will be live here only yeah. on PokeGo. A bit hot, right? Bang, bang. A little bit. But, I mean, that other room was worse yesterday. That section there is freezing. If you get the right couple of tables, yeah. and the vent just blows straight down. Billido makes a pair of sevens and decides to lead as and the day before. Van der Roy has every day. a little uncomfortable spot here, Donnie, with the Ace King. Oh. Oh, Ace King always West. a tricky one. Drawing hand. Wesley. Drawing hand, as they say. The great Doyle Brunson. They're on the other table, I guess. Called it that. Asian it remains that. LA. I yeah. played with him on day two. I, I think played, it was day two. Yeah. I, played, I played with him at Hustlers. Is he still in? Live stream. No, he busted yesterday. He blocked he me like Wow, <laughs> this is unfolded by Van Roy. doesn't even want to see the turn. Bay. Wesley uh -huh. Bay. West side Wesley. He had like queens, he three bad. Jao Antonio, so you, you can't bet. technically subscribe raised. just for the but final table, but we do have monthly <laughs> and quarterly plans available. Yeah, he, he so if like, you want something like that is not like as committal as an annual plan, yeah, first we do time have time monthly plans available. So like that said, the best price is annual with the promo code get to be 30 because sure. you're paying less than six dollars yeah, a month yeah. for one year of the best poker no, no, content okay. on the planet no, no mics, no we got tons of stuff coming up oh, throughout, they, throughout the rest of the year poker master like, super high roller bowl poker Girl tour championship going to be filming some new cash game shows uh, and of course we have oh, yeah, an entire yeah, yeah. So massive right on-demand yeah. library everything from the wsop hmm. high stakes poker we got every season of that Tons of stuff. <laughs> Martin Finger still reeling yeah, from losing set over set versus knee. Raising it up here with Queen Jack offsuit. Thunderoy. 
asking for a count, and he gets the most professional response possible. 14 bigs, you know. Let's do the math here. Oh, really? Who was on it? The chip leader was playing very aggressively. These guys battling. Oh. In middle position. And that's random? Dang. Hijack for Van Roy. Yeah, he's good. He busted me out of the only two high rollers I ever played. Oh. Ali. <laughs> Sean B is saying, what happened to high stakes duel? Well, Scott Seaver like, yeah, and Phil Helmuth are fire. set I mean, to square I off in a $1.6 million dollar match, hopefully later in August. Oh, yeah, so like that time. is yet to come. Somewhat, poker action will yeah, always continue on Poker Go as we have more poker than you can possibly watch. I just play them because my friend Stan. The Seventh into the muck for Van Roy. Decides to not tangle with the short stack of Martin Finger, who like, you know, has to be given credit for some yeah. some sort of a yeah, tighter range, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, when you're raising yeah. off 14 bigs, it looks very strong. I mean, they're hard. It's like 50 people in there. We can like see the cards. We can see that he has queen jack like off. I play every single 10k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Tran doesn't believe him, though. Looks him up with a call from the big blind. King eight of diamonds. 9-3 deuce, one diamond. Jimmy Tran checks. Almost a 7,000 likes on this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. He's Remco Rinkema. I'm Donnie Peters, and this is the WSOP main event. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter, Donnie underscore Peters. Donnie with an IE. Follow me. I talk poker and pizza mostly. That's I also talk a little <laughs> bit of sports betting at times. The two most important topics here is Gil Bauman and Aaron Zhang are tangling. We're on the river already. Zhang does not have it, but neither does Bauman. Bauman, however, with ace high. Big bet here. Looks like, looks like about... Uh, what, 85%, 90% a pot here? Bet of 480k. As Bauman into the tank. As the young kids say, Zhang put Bauman in the blender here. Deciding for the majority of her stack with ace high, but it seems as though she's given this some serious thought. It would be a very impressive call from Bauman if she manages to pull this off. I mean, she has the best no pair. She knows Aaron Zhang is capable of a lot of crazy stuff. And he is very quiet right now. So I don't know what that means, but it would be tremendous for the tournament if Bauman can find a call here. What do we think, chat? Is Gil Bauman going to call this off and see through the bluff of Aaron Zhang? I mean, you, you, can, you can tell she's really considering this here, but this is a very tough decision. Ay, 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 oh ay, my ay. god, such a good lay down there. <laughs> you bear that hand, you take longer time. I'll show you one card so you know I went on the draw. There's no flush draw for me. Very nice lay down. <laughs> and turn. <laughs> this guy is unreal. I call this. <laughs> He's so good. I call this the 30 minute bluff. Wow. This bluff so works good. for 30 Should minutes. You pulled over pair there. You don't know what I have. If you fold over pair there. It's very late, very late down. If you fold the ace high flush right there, it's okay. But if you fold the over <laughs> pair, it's, oh my God. No, such a good lay down. I mean, the thing is, is that she's going to see it in a little while. Can yeah. I have? I showed the six. Hard. There's no flush over right there. Queen six. <laughs> what? Queen six. Queen six? You said, what could you have? That's an option. Huh. Close. Under the gun yeah. race, I flat call. I'm in the middle position. He, he better see better yeah, flop. Yeah, you can, you can have Queen anything. Six, no draw. How can I? <laughs> Come on, man. Be logic. Be logic. Let's no. go. Yeah. Aaron Zhang <laughs> was, was playing 9 3 offsuit last, last okay. night. Play Queen Six like that. 50, 50, that's <laughs> I love this. I love this because this is going to air. Six and forty. And then they're going to talk about it at the table. Yeah. Come it's on, so don't, good. Don't put me it's on so Queen good. Six like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't disrespect me like that. Show the sex, man. Aaron Zhang, the biggest liar left <laughs> in the main event, <laughs> as he immediately raises it up again, this time with ace eight suited. Come on. That's a nice lay though. Oh my god. <laughs> Still going. I saw I got a value 100% over there. She tanking, I think she got jacks. Be logic, ladies and gentlemen. 
If Turn if if we're putting that on a shirt in our shop, good. would you buy the B Logic shirt? Yeah. It's like a Very Bruce good. Lee's B That's Water. Why. No, this exactly. is, this is B Logic. B Logic. <laughs> also, Hurricane Zhang. I'm going with this. Sorry, I was talking. It has to be his new name. Mod, mods, mo whoa. Can I know how much you could the, the double Z is throwing me off, Donnie. Mo Mazden. 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 Sorry. Mazden. Clayton Mazden. I think I Mazden. first covered him at EPT Warsaw. Really? Yeah. That's like, what? Way, way long ago. Yeah, way a long time ago. Had to go up and down those stairs. Oh, yeah. Didn't Sean D like, win a high roller there with three people? Yes. <laughs> yes. Or was that in Talon? I can't remember. Some, something like that. Either way, Zhang raises it up with Ace-8 suited. Mazen with the 3-bet to 155. Lays it down. You know, King-6, he gets to the river. King-6, he makes the massive bluff versus Bauman. Ace-8 suited, you could say better hands. But hey, he, he reads his opponents. He uses that B-logic approach, and he lays it down. Well done, sir. Well done. I know she can't call the river. 100% she can't call it. <laughs> so Everyone is going to find out that he's bullshitting I in a few minutes, and it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. Everything good there. If I flat call the flop, that means I have something. Then A9 get there, 4 5 get there, 6 7 get there, even A3, whatever conscious 3 draw get there. So, on <laughs> <laughs> my life, no. <laughs> this guy is so great. We don't even need, we can just go home, Donnie. We'll have Aaron Zang in the range. commentary. By the way, Aaron Zhang, table captain, table chip leader, and also near the top of the counts overall in this tournament as Ramon Calias picks up ace-check offsuit. We saw Cole Poise already up to 7 million. See if we make it. And if you are a poker fan, you have to watch the rest of this tournament. And it, so I mean, I'm proud I, of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You can't miss out. You have to keep watching. It's like a train wreck, but it's going well for him. So proud. Oh, my God. He's so proud of himself. So yeah, proud. No, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, no, when you look at me, I know your feeling. Like, this guy, do, this guy doing the same thing like I did. Like, why are you guys just no, know y'all like him? Bowman and Kalias both with Ace Jack. As Nunley is sitting in the middle here with 10-7 off. Donnie, how many players are left? Do we have any updates on that? No, I don't. Probably about 325. All right. Last, last update we have was 333. So. Probably tick down a little bit. Maybe 320, 315. We are live right now, by the way, from Las Vegas. We're at Bally's in Paris on the Las Vegas Strip, just across the street from the wonderful Bellagio Fountain. So if you're in the neighborhood, stop on by and check it out. The action is hot and heavy here in the room. You can feel the tension in the air. We have Jeff Platt and Kara Scott on the floor bringing you some sideline reporting. My name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside of me. We've got about 13 minutes left on our free preview. We extended it today to give you guys an extra taste of the action, but of course... Extra taste of Zhang. Extra taste of <laughs> Zhang, because the action will continue on Pokego.com all throughout the night. Like, clear your schedules. We're going till about midnight Pacific time. We have Lon McCarran and Jamie Kirst that are on the call until the dinner break. <laughs> then after dinner, it's going to be the night shift with Ali Najad and Norman Chad, as we are expected to get below 100 players today in the main cool. events. Rapidly approaching six-figure payouts. Be logic, Remco. Be logic. <laughs> it's, it's so good. The Hurricane there. Express. I think I think Brent Hanks will appreciate if we call him the Hurricane Express. Shout out to Leroy Towns, the band that brings us the Poker Go podcast intro music. Seems like it. Allen with the raise, ace check off, suit Zhang defends his big blind with King 10 Best off. Best play of the day. Best play of the day. That's right. I can't wait till they find out what he had. I, I just. <laughs> I made mean, a one accent play. I'm going to laugh so hard. With you. That's excellent. Your one is question. Josh says in the chat, I would, I would pay anything to play at this table. Phenomenal. Well, it's $10,000. <laughs> Zang here with the lead, pair of 10s, 10, 10 8, 5 flop, 9 on the turn. Van Harvey says, Zang by unanimous decision. <laughs> check, check, deuce on the river. King also, Hart. also check, check. Wow. Good time. Check, 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 check. Where's the money, Donnie? King Paul Hart good? 
No, your, your king high was not good. I believe you. Sun's good. Boy, he's trapping, trapping, trapping. It's not trapping. Trapping, trapping, trapping. Come on, man. You're taking trapping, some trapping, space to, to make the move. Yeah. Here's the Zenny Eyewear Tournament Summary presented by Zenny Eyewear. Second biggest main event ever. 8,663 players. 10 million up top. Man, $10 million. The number of players what I would do with $10 million. Dollars. 10 at once. Karai yeah, Alamir, defending champ, that. still in the mix at the secondary feature table. Not a lot of chips at this table, Donnie. Minute, no, not nearly as much as what we have up on the main feature table and elsewhere in the room at some of these tables. We know we got Dan Colpoys out there with about seven million in chips. Taylor Von Kriegenberg started the day with 5.3 million. He's on the other outer feature table. 340? Around that, yeah, now we're at 13. We hit it, I don't know when the next one is. I think it might have been like 257. Oh, 287. Yeah, you probably know about it. Ten minutes left on our free preview broadcast. I looked at it briefly. Let me give, another, give away another annual sub to Poker Go just to close out this. This morning. This, Let's go. This two hour circus. Let's go. Like the video for this man. <laughs> free annual mind. sub is coming at you, chat. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go. Martin Finger here. That was funny. Ace-2 offsuit. I'm probably going to attack oh, yeah? the big blind yeah. here. But then I thought it was your first tournament. <laughs> oh, see how easy it was to bluff you. <laughs> but for last, it came up last night, and I think I looked, but then I just didn't go through All in. to see who everybody Look. was. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Steps he in it. Steps in it. Fadoi picks up Ace-King, and quick Martin, ball. Martin Finger will not be happy to see this. Ace-Deuce versus Ace-King, of course. Ace-Deuce can make a wheel. He's not drawing dead, but 23% is not yeah. what Martin Finger was hoping for here. He was just hoping to pick up the blinds and annies. By the way, if you're here for the giveaway, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because only subs can chat. That's right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nine minutes left. All right, here's, let's see the flop here. All right, Jack. Oh, Jack wow. ace deuce. Martin Finger flops it. Two pair for him as Van Roy now is looking for a king or a jack. Jack, of course, would counterfeit Martin Finger's deuce. Van Roy yeah. no, he's completely spade, spade. Oh, emotionless. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> chop okay. chop opportunities. This this time. <laughs> so, okay. spades for a chop. Yeah, okay. King, yeah. jack, or a six <laughs> for the win. We both take a spade to uh, dealer. <laughs> <laughs> so no more deal, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean he has two outs. River card, uh, uh, ten of clubs. Martin Finger with the double up. Uh, hey man, nice sometimes play. it's better to be lucky than good. No one's ever won a poker tournament without being lucky. Martin Finger does get a bit of luck there on his side, but a pretty standard hand overall. Exactly. Small blind versus big blind. Absolutely. Martin ace Finger ace. down to about, what was it, 14, 15 big blinds? Yeah, I think it was a little bit less at that point. Love two pair, By the way, I can't, I can't say enough how beautiful these chips are, Donnie. Uh, they're, they're great. Yeah, Spectacular. Bang, bang, bang. Here's some music for you. Check out our shop, shop.pokogo.com. We have an online special, 20% off on all items now through July 16. Um, you know, don't want to brag, but I have a few of these items, and they are really, really comfortable. We have high-stakes poker t-shirts, no gamble, no future hoodies. We have hats. We have all sorts of stuff. And I just want to emphasize, if you are a big home game player, we have some official table felts available from our shows, from high-stakes poker, um, high-stakes high -stakes duel. We have World Series poker felts that were actually used in the main event last year, available in our shop. So if you're a big poker fan... This might be something for you or perhaps something to give to she, she a friend so or a family member. She wants oh. to see a bad than him. He's finding out right now. Gail uh, Bauman is like waiting for the King Six bluff to show. And then we're going to have a real fun conversation at this table. I don't, know, I don't care either way because I got him good with my uh, Queen Nine. I just saw what he had there. Oh. Ramon Calias is using the force. To stop the dealer there, as yeah, I don't, I don't think Barfield had acted yet so out crazy. of the big blind. The King of Hearts was exposed at the beginning of that hand. Like oh, nice what? Yeah, yeah. Zhang, once again involved with a hyper premium, super nice. ultra hand Maybe for his range. Queen Jack suited. <laughs> Giving away a free year of Poker Go in six minutes at the end of the show. If you want to participate in our giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel and answer the question. You have four of this? Four? Thank you.
Come on, Zhang. Do it again. Let's go. You know you don't want to fold. I mean, he's got a fun hand. He's got such a fun hand. Especially being in position against against both blinds and the, the likelihood that Kalias might also get involved here. Here we go. We Here we go indeed. What's coming? Four bet for the first time? Or does he just want to see some flops? All right. All right. He, We're seeing a flop. For as much as we call him the Hurricane, he is definitely a post-flop Hurricane, Donnie. Jack 4-7 Rainbow on the flop as we are heads up now. Neither player with anything, which leads me to lean towards giving Zhang the advantage, Donnie. Yeah, you think it's tricky to play ace-king on flops like this? Try playing king-queen on flops like this. <laughs> and try playing it against Aaron Zhang. Fire Wild Halo says, Zhang is pure <laughs> box office. Looks like he's uh, summoning a higher bean Rainer right Zhang. there. Makes the fold. <laughs> Zhang still sitting on 4 million. Having been down to as low as 1.8 million Can't earlier in this first level. By the way, this is the first level of the day. There is, I believe, five more levels of play today. <laughs> Angela Jordison. I mean, this is a big smile, Donnie. Oh, yeah. This is the smile, Doubles up. The smile of someone go. who does just doubled up. Angela Jordison making some noise. This, this WSOP has a third place finish already in an event, now running deep, up to nearly four million oh, in chips. Oh, baby. Listen, don't sleep on Angela Jordison. Do not sleep on Angela Jordison. Here's oh, Daniela Rodriguez-Tavares. Oh, baby. There we go. Oh, you get a double up. You get a double up. You get a double up. <laughs> Everyone gets the double up. By the way, feeling a little bit bad for Jordison there, directly out of position against Brian Rast, one of the top crushers still in the main event. Someone will get it, I promise. But I think she showed last night on the feature table, she had Ali Msirovich on her direct, le direct left. Dan Smith was at the table. Zhang was at the table. She held her own, did not back down at all. She's been around poker for quite some time, has played a lot of stuff. I think she's been coached by Faraz Jaka. A lot of experience for Angela Jordison. All right, for the free year of Poker Go, I'm going to pose the question right now. I'll give you guys about four minutes to answer the question. And I'm going to stay with our hot topic of the day. It's Aaron oh. Zhang. I call, I call him the Hurricane. What do you guys think you the, to, right? the nickname should be for Aaron Zhang? So. Tell me your best. Welcome to the party. <laughs> tell me your best <laughs> Aaron Zhang nickname in the there. chat right now. I'll give away a free year of Poker Go to one lucky winner. So, what's the nickname going to be for Aaron Zeng? I I'm going to stick with Hurricane Donnie. What do you, what do you think? I'm surprised there's no King of Hearts. I mean, I, I like Hurricane Zeng with you. <laughs> I also like if we just called him Be Logic. Be Logic. I mean, I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five-way action here. Three somebody, I saw somebody in the chat say Amazing. Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. That's good, That's too. That's a good one That's as well. That's really good. Amazing. Um, meanwhile, Five-way action, 300K in the middle. That is not a flop to just, you know, give up on with ease. You're gonna want, you're gonna want to win these small pots, and it's Ramon Calias with pocket threes, who takes the betting lead after the action is checked to him. Both Nunley and Modson have a queen. What, what, uh, is, what is this hand? Why are there five people in this pot? <laughs> Zinger Zhang, Zhang Gang. Bang, bang, zang. I really like hurricane zang because a hurricane, right? The eye of the storm is the calmest <laughs> part of the hurricane. Zang himself always, seem ex always seems extremely calm and collected, but around him, with the way that he plays, it seems like utter chaos. You went. You know that easy? Wow. This, this, is, just this is a crazy hand. Just nice and easy, just, you know, taking it down with a pair of threes. I'm very disappointed. I play straight. I miss, I fold. I hear that bit. <laughs> what should I do with the fork six uh, suit over there? Wu Tang Zhang. Maybe pure flop. It sounded like you wanted to say off suit, and then you're like, I don't know. <laughs> Can't call Zhang. Off suit is like can Lots of good suggestions in the chat. By the way, if you're wondering what the heck is going on here. We're doing a free giveaway for an annual PokerGo subscription. One lucky winner will get credited with that. As we are approaching the end of this free 
well, it's a free one-hour preview that happened to go for two hours. So hey, that's just what happens sometimes. As Zhang picks up tens, this might be our last hand of the stream. I mean, this might as well be aces. Oh yeah. Don't forget to continue watching over on PokerGo.com. Use the promo code GetWSP30 for thirty dollars off an annual plan. Goldstein here been extremely quiet. Other than that double up early on through Zhang. Goldstein potentially here looking over at the clock to see when the next pay jump will be as he is in desperate need of a double up. Kalias doesn't hesitate, makes the call with Jack-10 suited as Barfield finds Queen-Jack suited on the button. But we're, we're on our way again to some multi-way action. I'm about to draw for the winner. By the way, if you enjoyed the coverage, please consider following us on Twitter as well, at Remco Rinkma, R-E-M-K-O. Well, the 10s are dead. And also, Elias has one, and Mazdan just folded the other one. No matter, no matter what happens, Donya yeah. will be back tomorrow with a free preview of the day six action. So the tension keeps building inside Bally's as we get closer and closer to that $10 million payout. As six, queen, seven rolls off, Barfield takes the lead. No, Allen, two pair. Oh, just casually with the queen seven there. Didn't even consider him. Out the of the big blind. The big blind. Zhang, the aggressor that he is, not going to slow down here. The big Zhang. I mean, I wouldn't entirely hate Kalias continuing here. The Queen of Hearts is out there. Looks well going up with his Jack-10 of Hearts. He could turn a lot of equity. Uh, my Hurricane Zhang is getting some love in the chat. I do appreciate that. I'm gonna t I'm gonna draw for the winner while we watch this hand because this hand might take take a while. All right, so for a free year of Poker Go, the winner is Gregory Deckelman. Gregory Deckelman, who said Zhang Gang. I do like the Zhang Gang, and I, th I believe we have lots of Zhang Gang supporters in the chat right now. So Gregory Deckelman, all you have to do is send the email to social at pokergo.com with a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account. We'll be in touch. Oh, and by the way, for those five or so funny people that are claiming they won the giveaway. Remco knows. He takes <laughs> screenshots of this stuff. <laughs> nice try. And, and, you know, we are streaming, so this is recorded. Uh, by the way, Vinny, I saw your message. I got you. Yeah, there's a lot of people pretending to be Vinny in, the, in my inbox. <laughs> Zhang here, his bet of 115K, called by Kalias, called by Barfield. Now Allen with the best hand. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to see a check race here. Not going to want to take two pair multi-way to a turn in this spot. That looks like 500k. Wow. Zhang quickly gives it up. Rod Thompson says he wants to see Zhang bust out. Kalias also folds. Kalias certainly really wants to see that turn. <laughs> Barfield here, not the easiest of decisions, but your top pair does yeah, shrivel up a bit no. when this check raise comes from Allen in this position. Producer Aiden can suggest an amazing. I think that's also a very good one. We are appro. <laughs> We're approaching the break here, the first break of the main event. We are going to say goodbye after this hand. It's really a set. As Barfield really a makes a very disciplined fold here as the players are now going on a break. After the break, action continues on PokerGo.com. Lon McCarron and Jamie Kerstetter are on the call once more. A big thank you to everyone for tuning in. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. More free previews tomorrow as we look at our leaderboard here. Lococo up to 4.3 million. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have a back-to-back -back finalist in this year's main event. Thanks all so much for being with us. More free previews happening tomorrow. We have highlights on our YouTube channel and a whole lot more action still to come. The main event continues with 315 players on Pokego.com after the break. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.